We're not on a major highway, so there's not a lot of uh, pass through traffic. Pigott may seem like any other small town in northeast Arkansas, but it has a special secret. Surrounding towns that might, might come come by. I was surprised to find out that Hemingway lived here. That's Hemingway, as in Ernest Hemingway, and his wife, Pauline Pfeiffer. Director of the Hemingway Pfeiffer Museum and Educational Center, Dr. Adam Long, says Hemingway lived in Pigott with Pauline and her family for several years. He was a, a regular guest here from 1927 to 1940, uh, and the family converted their barn into a studio for him, and it's there that he wrote portions of some of his most famous works, including The Farewell to Arms. The barn turned studio on the Hemingway Pfeiffer property is now home to the Hemingway Pfeiffer Writers Retreat. For a fee of $200, writers of all experience levels can attend the five-day retreat and improve their skills with the help of a professional mentor. We try to keep the group sizes small so that there's plenty of time for one-on-one -on -one interaction with the mentor. Writers travel to Pigott from all over the country to attend the retreat. In Massachusetts and Illinois and, and Texas in the last year and a half or so we've had we've had those places represented. Long says writers come to the retreat for mentorship and networking and the chance to write in the same studio Hemingway once did could have something to do with it too. We will set them up with a cup of coffee and let them just write and um, and, and sometimes writers like to get away and sit up in the in the in Hemingway studio and, and work work there all afternoon. Ernest Hemingway's barn turned studio is off the beaten path, but for those who decide to attend the Hemingway Pfeiffer Writers Retreat, the trip to Pigott is all a part of the pilgrimage. I'm Megan Tweedy for ASU TV News.